Okay, so first thing we need to do is to create some materials that we're going to use for our floors. So I'm going to do a search, find something that's similar to a floor type material. So you can see I've got two there to choose from. I've got a default floor, I've got an oak floor. It doesn't really matter which one I use. I'm going to basically right click and choose duplicate. Now I'm going to switch on render appearance and I'm going to switch to identity tab and I'm going to give it a new name. There's a few things you need to do each time. You need to name them, you need to switch on the rendering tick, and then you also need to make sure they're not linked to any other files by basically ticking an assets box that you'll see in a moment. So here, where it says the one above the hand, I really don't want that. I want to take that off, so I click on this assets button, and now it unlinks my new one from my old one. I can choose a new image file, so clicking on that image link will take me into the textures library. There's a whole bunch of here to choose from, and basically, if you don't like any of the ones in here, you can always download some yourself from the internet and then put them into this particular folder. Um, I'm going to pick one in a moment. Okay, this one is uh, not a beach, but it's a light-colored wood, so I'll use this one anyway, but I might need to change the name um, in a moment, so I'll name it something more useful. Okay, white oak. I think it was actually white ash, but never mind, it's close enough. I'm going to take the stain off, I don't need it stained, and I'm going to switch it to flooring. Now you can change any of these things around later if you need to, if you can come back in and see what they look like, but make sure a user appearance is switched on, and you can... Okay, and I've got another one, I'm going to duplicate. Um, you see I've made one which has got a red carpet. I'm going to switch this to a black and white f tile, so all I'm doing is renaming a few things. Um, again, I'm going to get rid of that, put a zero there by clicking the asset, Make sure I've got render appearance ticked and make sure I've got the right name. So I need to change that from red carpet, which I did off camera a moment ago. And call this one black and white tile. Now you'll see uh, I've actually made a mistake here. I've got, I didn't take the share off the red carpet one, so it's actually defaulted that. It's, it's linked them together, which was good to actually see. See the four on there? Now I'm going to get rid of that, set it back to zero which again make, means this is a unique thing on its own, it's not linked to anything else. Anywhere where you see those um, numbers, it's not a good thing, you've got to click on and try and get rid of them. This looks like a good colour, so I'll use this darker one, and I just need to make sure I've got all the names and everything done correctly here. Again, take off anything where there's a 1 or a 4, everything needs to be a 0 to make sure each of these floor types are unique, they're individual, they're not linked to any other ones. Give it a suitable name. Make sure renders on, click apply. So now you can see I've got one, two, three, I've got four different types of floor. Click OK. OK, so we're going to start off in our ground floor plan and we're going to click on the floor tab to take us into the floor creation um, tools. There's different ways we can create our floors. I'm going to make three from this one. So I'm just going to go with a rectangle. I'm using the centers of the walls to make sure the floor covers completely that particular um, area. Once you're happy with what you've done, you hit the tick. So I'm going to do the same thing for the next one. Go for floor again. This time I might draw it using a, just a line tool. So the same thing. I'm going to go to the centers of each of the walls. And I'm going to click so it produces this pink line. Now this tool is more useful when you've got um, rooms that are more irregular shaped. I could have just used the rectangle again. Um, but I'm going to just show you another tool. Hit the tick again. That's my second one done. And we'll do the third one, same thing, hit the floor button, we'll go in, I'm going to use the rectangle tool again this time, and do my third room. So I should end up with three floors, okay, and there they are. Now they've all been set at the moment to generic floor type. There are different ones that you can choose from this drop down, and what we're going to end up doing is I've changed um, one of these now, to, so we hopefully in 3D view it should look a bit different. You can see there that's got a wooden floor on it, the other two are generic ones. So if I change these two through, this is what they're going to end up looking like. But what I want to be able to do is to make my own. So in a moment, we're going to actually create some um, new floors. So I'm going to select one. Okay, oh, sorry, you can just see here that if, um, if you switch into realistic view, you should actually zoom in, you should see the, like, the wood grain effect. So that's the actual texture of the floor. If we flick through to the realistic view, uh, the consistent colors, um, it looks slightly different. There's no grain effect on there, so it's not actually using the rendered part of it. 
Okay, we'll stick with realistic for the time being so we can see the differences. What we want to be able to do in a minute is use, by creating our own um, types, those materials we already made. So I've gone into the type properties. I'm going to duplicate it, give it a sensible name. So again, we want to be able to find these things easily afterwards. So floor red carpet makes sense if I want to actually put a red carpet in there. I'm going to go into the um, edit of the structure and in the structure at the top where it says material you can see at the moment it's set to oak flooring we're not going to use oak flooring we're going to search for those materials we made earlier so we called them all floor so there we go floor um, dark wood rosewood I will use the rosewood one rather than I think I called it carpet but um, I think I've got a mistake there although it's the right kind of color so I can probably change this up here here we go instead of red carpet we'll call that rosewood so it's not too confusing later on although I think it's the same color as the red carpet and we just click OK and that now has produced a, an extra part of that family so that actually you can see that is the red carpet when you zoom in on it um, even though I called it rosewood it is red carpet I've named them incorrectly so we'll just do one more just to show you how it works again so select the floor change the edit type duplicate then give it a sensible name so this time we're going to go for black and white tiled floor going to go and edit the structure again choose the material for the finish and change that to one of the ones that we've already made so we'll do a search for that one so we should find our black and white there we go black and white tiles choose that we're going to make sure render appearance is ticked and click OK and click OK and click OK and now we should find if we select and move off it that there is our new surface so at any point in time you can click on a floor and then you can just go and change to one of these new ones that have been made so if I choose the um, black and white one again I can and I can switch out as many times as I want between all these different ones and that's as easy as it is